Hello, this is a quick guide to getting your first image with the LCO telescope group. Sorry for the uh, dishwasher noise behind me. Okay, first of all, you need an account with LCO. So the way you do that is you need to search LCO Global Account, if you haven't already. Um, LCO Global Account. And here, so um, you want to be able to log in. This might automatically log in for me because I've already, no, okay. So I've already got my own username and password, but you won't be a member, so you'll click down here, register. It'll take you through name, last name, um, what username you want. I just chose my first three initials and my last name and a password. It'll then send something to your email, check your email, activate the account, once you've done that, signed up for that, you need to then email your details to Bonnie um, so she can allocate some telescope for time for you. Because it's one thing to get an account and then you need to be allowed to use the telescopes to, to look at whatever object you want. So if you don't have Bonnie's details, um, give me a bell and I can help you with that. Okay, so you got yourself an account now. What do we do next? The next thing is we want to take our first image. So it's just going to be a very simple image. We're not trying to get really, you know, hundreds of images with data to, to get some science. We just want to get started with a picture. So some interesting objects that you might want to look at in the sky are what are known as the Messier objects. Um, and they are named after a, an astronomer from about 200 years ago. I think his name was Charles Messier. And he didn't have telescopes nearly as good as us, um, but he used to observe the night sky, and there were lots of stars he could obviously see, but sometimes in a telescope you could see sort of white fuzzy things or white blobs instead of stars. And he catalogued all these things that he could see in the sky. Um, now we give them um, labels like M1 for Messier 1, and M50 for Messier 50. Um, for these famous objects that he saw in the sky. Now that we've got better telescopes, we can actually resolve them. And these, you know, blobby objects that he saw, or fuzzy objects, are actually really beautiful, either galaxies or nebula or clusters. Um, and so they're really interesting to take photos of, especially for your first photo. So for you to learn about these objects and maybe find one that you want to, to look up, I suggest you go to a website called Deep Sky Videos. They're also on YouTube, but I like the website because it has all the videos in order. So I'm just going to Google Deep Sky Videos and see what I come up with. Deep Sky Videos. So here, here they all are on YouTube. So M87, Messier number 87, Messier num, um, number 99. He's got all of them there. But they're all on, on the website here, Deep Sky Videos. And so the first ones are just the latest videos that he's made. But if you, excuse me, go down. I, I suggest you watch the introduction. I don't know, it's about eight, five to ten minutes, which which does a better introduction than me on all of these interesting objects. And then he's got a video on each object. So M1, the Crab Nebula. M2, it's a globular cluster. Um, and, and you go down and, and explore them. M16, the Eagle Nebula. Um, the Dumbbell Nebula. The one I like is uh, Andromeda Galaxy. There's some beautiful galaxy pictures. Um, more Nebula as well. So even if you don't know what these are, this is a chance for you to look up and learn about what a nebula is and what a cluster is and, and what these pictures are that you could possibly take. A barred galaxy, the Ring Nebula. Um, and you can see that these go right through to M110, which is how many I think uh, Messier found. Um, and watch a couple of videos and find one that you, you might want to take a photo of. Just a disclaimer, your photos won't be, your first photo is not going to be as good as these. Because um, these photos are often a bunch of photos that have been stacked on top of each other. But you are going to be able to see these objects and, um, and get your first photo of one of them using this LCO telescope time. So it's really exciting. So that's your, that's your chance to look at some Learn about some objects you can in the sky, deep sky videos, and, and maybe choose something you want to take a photo of. Um, so, right. Now, your first image. So, 
we want to go to kiosk, this word here. So now that you've signed up, the interface you want to go to for your first image is kiosk.lco.global. So I've got it on the bar there. This is an interface that lets you take easy photographs. When you want to take, say, a bunch of photographs for looking at exoplanet transits, we're not going to be using this kiosk, but this is the one we're starting with. So 100 hours, 100 of school, that's you. So I've got a photo here, we can look at it in a second. I've already got mine. But let's just say you're starting out, I'm logged in. It'll ask you to log in with your details. Mine was saved on Google, so it just went automatically. And the first thing once you're in here is your catalog lookup. So enter your target name. I'm going to go back to my Deep Sky videos and, and pick one. Um, I'm not sure how this is going. M104. So let's just type in M104 and see what it does. Search. Okay, so it knows M104, the Sombrero Galaxy. That's what I chose, wasn't it? Yeah, M104, Sombrero Galaxy. It's an unbarred spiral galaxy in the constellation Virgo. The galaxy is about 30% the size of Milky Way. And then you just go submit, and it tells you if you can take a photo of it. So it will send it to the scheduler, and it's done. So now it's pending. It waits for a telescope to line up with that, and it takes a photo for us. That's it. There is a, a disclaimer. Sometimes you'll put something in, um, and the one that I remember putting in was uh, M57, the Ring Nebula. So catalog lookup, M57. Select that, okay, Planetary Nebula, and I submit that, and it says, according to the constraints, the target is never visible within the time window. Check the target is in the nighttime sky. So the issue with that one is M57 at the moment, I think, is behind our sun. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can only use really use the telescopes at night time because there's so much other light from cities and, um, and, and the sky, the blue sky, which clouds your vision of the stars. So you have to wait till it's dark. Now it doesn't matter where you are on, on the planet, because the Earth is spinning, when it's dark, we're basically facing away from the sun, which is going to be the same for everyone eventually. At the moment, it looks like M57 is, is let's say, here's our, here's our sun, here's our planet, we want to be looking this way, away from our sun. I think M57 must be over here somewhere, on the other side of our sun. So it doesn't matter where, what telescope you've got to use, this one doesn't work. So you are going to get some objects like that you can't get, but you will be able to get them at another time of the year. So we'll just have to find another one. If it doesn't work, search for another one. Go for M104 if you want. I mean... You're going to get your own images or whatever. The first one I did was Andromeda. And so it's now, it took a day because I think it was waiting for the right time. And, and now it's completed. So now I get to see what my image looks like. So this is the first time I've seen it. So, oh, wow. So there we go. So that's the Andromeda galaxy. That's amazing. So you can see, well, you can see what you can see, but this is, yeah, it's definitely a spiral galaxy. Again, it's not the same image as that old expecting to see on these guys because these are you know heaps of images stacked on top of each other but I think if I, I did enough work I'd be able to get something like that but at least I've got that as a start so let's download that and while it's downloading I'm just making sure I've ticked everything off here okay yeah I've done my kiosk I've searched my object and now I'm viewing my object great Okay, well, I'm just going to let that download and, and, and get that image, but now go ahead and find your own images. Oh, here it comes now. Very nice. Very nice for a first image. That's really impressive. So go out and do it yourself and, um, and share with me what you get. Awesome. Uh, how do I get out of this?